Let's bring in the aforementioned Griff Jenkins, Fox News national correspondent. Uh, Griff, besides your um, widespread acquaintanceship in, in Kazakhstan, <laughs> what do you? You got these cards you're showing me. I don't know if you can show it up to the camera. These were remain yeah. in Mexico cards that well, you found on the ground. So yeah, and I can kind of hold it up. You know, you can get the idea. It's a temporary visa from Mexico, and in that very spot where Bill's doing great reporting, I was just there for the past week in Hakumba, literally right in that area. The Chinese migrants, these are all Chinese IDs, they come across and they immediately discard it because they don't want the U.S. officials, Larry, to know that they have some uh, temporary security, some temporary status legally in Mexico because our officials might say you should wait there because you can apply for asylum there. They want to be in the U.S. That's the plan. This, they have no interest in being in war. This or was Tijuana. the legacy of Trump's remain in Mexico. So in remain effect. in Mexico worked. And, right. and President Biden could, by executive fiat, try and do something similar. They're going to need to call it something different because they don't like sure, the political. But sure. as long as you make these migrants from all over the world, and honest to God, it's like a UN conference being out there. I had Afghanistan, Peru, Ecuador, uh, Syria, along with the Chinese from all over. I had a guy from um, Africa, from Liberia, uh, Cameroon, it's it's unbelievable. And many of them are flying in, Larry. If you look closely at these videos that Bill's showing, you will see these Chinese, very clean dressed, not dirty. They didn't go through a Panamanian jungle to get here and then all the way through Central America and Southern Mexico. They flew right into Tijuana and walked across. I've seen them carrying stroller, uh, you know, roller bags like you would see at the airport. But the numbers, and I just, I don't want to go on too long here, but the numbers that Bill was mentioning, 20,000 plus since the beginning of the fiscal year of just Chinese migrants coming across our southwest border. More than 90% of them are in that San Diego sector. Yep. Now, if you look back at fiscal year 2021, there were a total of 450 total migrants. I looked back at the three passing, the, the last 72 hours in just Hakumba mm -hmm. in the San Diego sector, there have been 452. So in three days, in the past three days, we've had more Chinese nationals legally crossing than the entire fiscal year of sure. 2021. Sure. Um, so can I ask you a question? You all, the, the focus of this story has shifted to San Diego, apparently. Right. It, is part of this because uh, the barbed wire in Texas, the barriers they're putting up in Texas are working? You bet. Heaven forbid the, I could use the word wall, but I'll, I'm happy. You want barbed wire or chicken wire or whatever the hell wire? It's working. Well, in you've got... Isn't there a lesson there? There's some cooperation from Mexico, and there's what Governor Abbott's doing. And the number one comment that I got from Hakumba residents mm -hmm. that live there, that have these migrants coming across, they said, man, I sure am impressed on what Abbott did with the shipping containers and the wire and Texas DPS hardening their border. But you look at those shots where Malusian is, it's wide open. Governor Newsom's not down there. Mm -hmm. And the difference, too, in California that's compounding this, aside from the national security risk, because I did speak to three Syrians, that's a state sponsor of terror, but you have Ill, uh, uh, illegal immigrants now get free health care in California sure. since January 1st. So free health care in the entire state of California is a sanctuary state. Sure. So once they get here, they're going to be protected. Heck, uh, I'm surprised they haven't given them debit cards yet in California. They'll probably work on that. Or when maybe, I see that I mean, it's story very important. We here have in New York. A couple $3 billion worth and probably no end to it. It's an, um, it's an entitlement that will go on forever. It, it, there's no greater incentive. Larry, if I had a stray dog show up in my back door tomorrow yeah. and I cooked it a steak, yeah. guess what? It would He's be coming back, back with it 10 of back. his friends tomorrow. And we both love dogs, but the fact is you make a very important point. It's called the incentive system. Right. And we want to keep that border open. Griff Jenkins, the best of the best.